how to create xml feed in shopify hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can create your own xml feed into or for your shopify store for an external um, let's say campaign or promotion into facebook or any social media that are available within the app so all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com once you are here we are going simply to set up here the account of yours as you can see we have signed in into our account and then we are going to click on the search bar once clicked on the search bar you are going simply to type in xml feed then we're going to search for it in the Shopify App Store. And now we are going to see here a lot of um, XML feeds that are available. We have, as you can see here, video, product XML feeds, Molly, we have shopping feeds, and etc. The most popular one, I think, is Molly. And also we have poke check XML feed, and etc. So I am going to use for today's video video product xml feed you can choose whatever suits you from these these are the same and the, they do the same work so we are going to use the uh, uh, the one that has a free trial available also the free plan available we're going to install this then we are going simply to wait for the installation process we are going to grant the permission by clicking on install then we are going to see here the result now we have video and we are going to click on pin to your navigation so we are going to put it right there maybe we can go ahead and move it to the top so here as you can see we have feeds you are going to set here the uh, billing plan if you want so we are not going to do that as you can see we have imported products or variants we have five out of five products the synchronization status is completed we are going to click on create new feed now we are going to search for the marketplace that we want to add our feed to as you can see we have a lot of marketplaces best price we have uh, affiliate and etc so we have facebook uh, Frugo and Google Merchant Center, Eureka, and etc. So go ahead and choose whatever suits you from these platforms. So maybe I'm going to choose right there Facebook. We are going to click on select. Then we are going to see that uh, here are the analytics, everything is set. Now we are going to click on save first. Here we have the feed title, the domain URL, the feed type and the currency store we're going to set the shopify market catalog and here we are going to put the marketplace listing we are going to use the international but is it going to be a subscription for the country it is going to be here using the currency now for the language we have this uh, here you can hide some fields or columns from feed and etc we have the mapping and the prices and delivery everything is going to be here in details so when you finish everything you are going to see here the link you can preview the feed and the feed is a code and that code is going to be set here and copy also paste to the facebook platform that you want to add to here we have some specific cases that you need to learn from the uh, web to how to add these feed you're going to copy the link or open the link right there and then you are going to put the xml file into the specific area on facebook then it would be showing all the details with photos description and etc of your products that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one